Uh, welcome to Dating Sim Sunday, everybody. Another Michaela Laws dating sim, as you might have noticed. For some reason, this is the one that costs a dollar while Seduce Me the Otome was free. Oh boy, this is... <sighs> it looks like fucking garbage. I'm so excited. What is this? It's a short story, I've been told. I have no fucking idea. <laughs> okay, okay. Um... Oh, sweet fucking Jesus. You need to calm down. Alright. Let's do this. <laughs> okay. Please tell us the name- tell us your name and the name of your butler. Right, you can name the butler in this and I know exactly what I'm gonna call him. Okay, do it. Elizabeth. No. Get the fuck out of here. Butler's name- are you fucking kidding me? Get the fuck out of here. I could have named myself CL, but that would have been weird. So you are Violet and your butler is Sebastian. You won't be here for long. Neither will I. Apparently this game is very short. I didn't even actually pay anything for it. It was probably covered by that one freak that bought that one dollar My Secret Pets trading card, that fucking maniac. Now please know that this story was made in Rempai, the visual novel engine with music composed by Christopher Eskel- I fucking heard that name before, Jesus Christ. And voiceover by- Oh, it has voiceover? No fucking way! Bradley Gareth, Hayden- whatever. Okay, cool. I seen- Yes, I have seen Mindful Education, are you fucking kidding me? Of course I've seen that. Just tears for days. It's fucking- fucking really. Okay, is it loading, or...? Oh, wow! Oh, oh boy! <laughs> We're off to a great start. <laughs> no, no, it's one butler. We only got one. Sweet Jesus, that's way fucking louder than I thought it would be. Oh, well. If y'all could still hear me, it's fine. Life's not fair, is it? I'm not sure what you mean, ma'am. Oh no! Oh, that's bad! That's. Oh no! It just isn't. I have riches and power and practically everything I could possibly want, but I don't at the same time. Ah, you're getting meta. meta. You're being silly, ma'am. This is all Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Isn't this everything you always wanted in a dating sim? Yeah, nobody has faces because Michaela got lazy. Or not. I don't care. It's not gonna be as good as Seduce Me, and that's hard to say. This was my life. Whether I liked it or not, I was an heiress to a rich family. Ah, hello 2000. Splendid, no? Too many women. Too many women. This would have been a dream come true. The perfect way to spend life. However, it wasn't as loving as one would think. But who cares? I want more. I don't know how that song goes. Sophie, I'm being serious. Of course you are. Of course you are. I'm not saying you aren't. <laughs> it's so bad. That's like, that's like astounding. I'm amazed. But I never said not serious, ma'am, did I? Who the fuck even is this? Aha! See, ma'am, I know you're serious. You're just being silly. Oh my god. Sylvie was my personal maid, and despite her jokes, she was one of my best friends. She has been with me ever since I was a child. Holy fuck! What the f- Moth in the house. I'll be right back. Gross. 
That's one way to interrupt dating Sim Sunday. Now I have to resituate myself in front of the camera. Man, such a pain. It's murder on stream. Snuff stream. Ruined lives. <sighs> Sophie has got me out of trouble so many times, even when I was at fault. It's a surprise that she deals with me. Now, now, ma'am, don't get fussy. I was only fooling. It's so bad. What do you think Sebastian sounds like? What do you think? Like Life is never fair, ma'am. It gives you lemons when you want to make orange juice. That's how the saying goes, right? No, oh, this is terrible. But what if I want orange juice? Oh, ma'am, you're not talking. Wait, what? That's exactly what I mean, it's not fair. Oh, ma'am, you're not talking about him again, are you? Oh, boy. 2,500 XP. No. Sebastian is Scottish. <laughs> oh, I'd just die. Sebastian, my personal butler. Look, if Sebastian Michaelis was, like, around me all the time, I can't say that I wouldn't try to make some moves. Like, come on. Sebastian was charming and handsome, sophisticated and sweet. He was practically everything I dreamed of a man. Yet despite him always being in arm's reach, he was as far away as could be. What is with this fucking shit? He was devoted to being the perfect servant, even if that meant disobeying any romantic requests. So this bitch just asked him out, and he just said no. won't work on me. I already got you an extra tray of biscuit cookies for your morning tea. What? Don't they just call them biscuits instead of cookies in England? The fuck are biscuit cookies? What does this mean? What year does this take place in? Don't oh, warn like that. None of that now. Jesus Christ. Ah, fine. I'll make you some fruit sandwiches and tea. Fruit sandwiches. Oh shit. What the fuck? I don't know. Uh, the way this story will probably go is like we'll be like forced into arranged marriage or something, and then we'll end up running away with the butler because it's romantic and shit. Yeah. Puppy eyes. What eyes? Honestly, I spoil you. Like I don't understand this dress. Is she like in the middle of getting is she in the middle of getting dressed for the day or is that just what she wears normally? Because if it is, then I still have no idea what year this takes place in. Yes, yes, ma'am, I love you. I'll be right back. He was barely three years older than I was, yet he still acted like a proper gentleman. The way he smiled practically made my legs weak. Gay. I was in love with my butler and I didn't care. I don't know. Wait a minute. This bitch is like 17, right? That would make Sebastian like 20. That's against the law. What's that video? <laughs> A1 doggy cake. Um, excuse me, sir. Those are not a singular whole cake. Mm -hmm, no, they are, I think you'll find, in fact, actually, biscuits. <laughs> Classic. Oh, Jess, I thought you weren't gonna make it. Being a gentleman is overrated. Well, of course. 
The only problem was that he couldn't love me back. Sebastian was so invested in becoming the perfect servant that he denied any romantic gesture I threw his way. Oh, it sucks. Life's not fair. I'm brooding, leave me be. That is such a Michaela line. Your butler, miss. May I come in? Oh my fuck! Is is that? I need to hear it again. Okay. My deepest apologies for the interruption, my lady, but I have some It's letters James. I came as quick as I received them. It's it's James from Seduce Me. He's voiced by James from Seduce Me. I fuck. We can't fucking escape it. We can't escape Seduce Me the Otome. <sighs> Like, I know it's by the same bitch, but... Try somebody else for a voice actor for once, come on! <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> One had my family see it. One was pink and practically reeked of flowers, and the last letter was a plain envelope. The Otome click. <laughs> I'll open the letter. The plain one. It has spirit. Are <laughs> these all Slenderman's children? Uh. I don't know. Slenderman's white, isn't he? What? Wait, what? The lady exits the pumpkin carriage, queen to Bishop K. Is this some kind of trick? Somebody's fucking with me. A riddle, perhaps? Thanks for the help, Sebastian. What the fuck? Ooh, I like that sound effect. Very good. The plain one has the spirit to stand out amongst all others. I'm kind of assuming. I don't know. Uh, hold on a second. Gonna put that. Okay, we're good. Anyway, my name is Isaac Newport. Oh, that's a name. I know that you do not know me, but I hope to know more about you soon. I'm currently in town this week, and would like to request your presence for tea. Whatever. A suitor? I'm afraid I'm unfamiliar with the Newport family. Just stop, man. Slenderman is not restricted to racial constructs. Check your privilege. Well, I don't fucking know. There's like Slenderman and then like the three like spin off Slenders. There's there's Trenderman, Offenderman. And Splendor Man. And as far as I know, they're all pale as fuck. So I don't know where these faceless bitches are coming from. Did I care? I wasn't interested in courting, especially with a man I didn't even know. Besides, the man I wanted to court was in the room with me, and that had already proved to be a difficult challenge as it is. He doesn't even have a face. Go into town. Find a man with a face. Maybe he can love you despite your disability of also not having a face. You weird mannequin person. Miss, I would suggest holding on to that note. Still, if you were to visit, you'll have proof of knowledge of who he is rather than forgetting the future. No shit. Well, no kidding. Who's it from? Please make sure to clean Your yourself- Your mother is returning. That's wonderful news. Wait, what? Clean yourself and dress properly? So you're saying that the tank top dress isn't working? How do they kiss? They don't. It's- it's like Avatar, they connect their hair and that- yeah. 
That's a thing. Your mother is returning. Huh? Okay, yeah, great. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> Star of Seasons Trio Towns, is that out yet? Or is that only out in Japan? Fuck, is that out? Hold up. I did not know that was coming out this soon. Okay. That's like only out in Japan. What are you talking about? Okay, it's not out. Like, worldwide release set for 2017. Don't get my fucking hopes up, man. Bro. <sighs> Looks so good, though. You play the Japanese... Did you... Did you do that thing where you buy a Japanese 3DS just so you can play, like, Japanese games, like, before they come out in English? Are you Japanese? If you live in Japan, maybe you've told me this before, I don't remember. Damn you for being this lucky, god damn it. Question though, question, question ahead of time, you may. How is it? Oh, you're visiting Japan, you bought it, okay. Okay, but question. How is it? I want to know. This was the norm with my mother, being this thing that she single-handedly owned the estate. However, when she was around, it was stressful. Oh, fuck's sake. You know what I did today? I went to the island today. I tried out that trick. Like, I've heard, like, people saying, like, yeah, you gotta go out into the country away from all roads light up an incense and you'll get some like, it'll randomly spawn some like rare ass Pokemon I tried it on a ferry today, the ferry to the island worked out pretty fucking great I caught a sand shrew and something else that I don't remember the name of or what it was at all also a scyther, second one of those is pretty fucking sick I just turned 17. She was perfect when she turned the age of 13. So she's 17, he's three years older than her, he's 20, this is legal as shit. It's the island. I can't tell you which island, because that would give away my location. I'm too young to have stalkers. I sighed and slumped in my chair. Others are turning. I have another Tam suitor, and this letter riddle makes absolutely no sense. Today is starting up marvelously. Is there anything I could do to make you happy, my lady? Oh, you know what it is, Sebastian. So you're saying that Japan's pretty fucking awesome? I feel you. It's pronounced Sandrew? You lying. Actually... I didn't look at the name, I just kind of assumed it was a Sandshrew. This island is Block Island. Look, it's one of the island in the Thousand Islands, so whatever. <laughs> Somebody is fucking desperate. Jesus Christ. In other words, darling, kiss me. Is that really how you pronounce it? I, it's Sandshrew, right? Well, people are easily gonna find me. There's only like a hundred thousand people in my town, and I can promise you that only one person in my town has a name spelled like I do. It's me. Because my parents spelled my name with a Y for some fucking reason. It could have been worse. They could have spelled it with an I. No one would have ever guessed that. Oh shit! Are you? 
Are you serious? You can't. Also, this is what you call a CG. Get out of my face. <sighs> He's being sarcastic. What the fuck ever, I don't care. Look, look, man. It, this bitch, she did it in Seduce Me and she did it here. There has got to start being a ban on guys falling on top of chicks in Otome games. There needs to be some other plot device that brings people closer together than this. And get the fuck out of here, Ivira. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right, they have mouths now! What the shit? Barbie sex tape! <laughs> uh. My lady, are you alright? <laughs> wait, whoa, 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 what was with that cutoff? My lady, are you alright? What was that at the end there? What the shit was that? Uh, it's got bad audio editing. That's that's a treat. That's a treat. This was exactly what I wanted, but this was purely an accident. I was sure he would think this was planned. We trying to fuck that. Look at Aragay, same shit happens there. Yeah, but... Eh. I am, thank you. The dude voicing this guy was sitting too close to the microphone, wasn't he? That's what happened. Because I've had that happen to me before. You sit too close to the microphone, you get that weird feedback. Oh, sweet Jesus. Welcome to Amateur Hour. <laughs> oh, man. You're not turned on? Well, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm drinking too fast. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Damn, I brought you... Oh, oh, my. Oh, my. Blush a deep red? How? You do not have a face! <laughs> oh, she fucking laughing. I'm laughing too. And now everything's back to normal. This is with these claw hands. No worries, ma'am. I didn't say anything, I swear. <laughs> this works, I didn't think you thought. <laughs> Oh, well, well, it's funny. <laughs> He's he doesn't have a face to blush with. What you're what you're describing is impossible. These mannequin faces aren't an artistic choice, they are pure laziness. Get out of my face, Michaela. Was he flustered? He wants to be. <laughs> well, if you both will excuse me, I need to prepare lunch for Lady Beaumont's arrival. Beaumont, oh god, get out of my fucking face. <laughs> okay, chill, Mayren. We do not mention the word seduce anymore, okay? That was hilarious, ma'am. Stop this right now. <laughs> so, ma'am, I brought some sweet sandwiches and tea for you. Strawberries with a fresh hazelnut spread. Nutella? Is that what you mean? His voice is decent, but he was sitting too close to the microphone. It's weird. 
I playing New Super Mario Bros. Wii U? I don't have a Wii U. At this point, there's no reason to buy one. They're shelving that, like, right quick. My pleasure, ma'am. Those are definitely Nutella sandwiches. Any fancy mail today, ma'am? Talk about K. I received the strangest letter today. It was the letter K. Burn the witch. A pumpkin carriage? Like in that Cinderella fairy tale? Oh, sweet fucking Jesus. This fairy tale's now chess? What is this loony thinking? You, that was, that was rough. That was real rough. I didn't know myself. You know, if you were, like, smarter, you might be able to figure this shit out, but I can't, because I don't live in whatever fucking time period this is. But that doesn't make a lick of sense, if you ask me. Are you sure it wasn't a wrong address? Oh, shit. It's the directions to where the bomb is hidden? Do any of those options matter? Well, I think... Picking correctly and just being chill around Sebastian got me that CG. So I think I'm, I think I'm going in the right direction here. I didn't say Nutella wrong. How the fuck do you pronounce it? Don't say Nutella, because that's wrong. Mm, that's very strange, ma'am. Anything else? No, we just talk about everything. Talk about mother. So I heard! The kitchen hands are going crazy at the news! Where was she? Something relevant. Look. Oh yeah, this is exactly what I was thinking of. Hey, a note! Yeah, but turn it over! There's a letter! You're right. And I got this message from my parents! Your parents? Oh my god, it's perfect. Thank you. Of course! Abby practically memorizes your mother's schedule, that strange kitchen woman. I don't want to know this, Abby. Anyone excited for Pokemon Sun and Moon? You have no fucking idea. I'm really fucking stoked for it. That fucking Alola Raichu? That stands on its tail like it's a surfboard? Like, I'm fucking ready. And Team Skull, man! I want that. Like, can I be a part of Team Skull? Like, I would be a part of a Team Skull. That's fucking cool. Nutella and Nutella. Because English. I don't fucking care. Anything else? Um. Eh, fuck. Ooh, a new suit! What's his name? What's his name? I don't... I don't... I don't remember. Isaac Newport. Isaac. I'm trying to think of a joke to make of that. I got nothing. Newport? As a Newport Law Affairs? Oh, snap! Lawyers! That means I can't... Wait, no, that means I can get away with murder now. Because I'll be married to a lawyer. You're damn right I have their new lawyer family coming up from out of nowhere. From out of nowhere. That's not how you... That's not. No. Stop this. Only the peasantry like me know about them, though. They specialize in helping poor families with houses and such. Well, that sounds boring as shit. Wait a minute. What's going on in the background over here? So we got the bed. It's supposed to be like a canopy bed, but the poles just stop. There's no canopy. This is unfinished. Kukui? I, I don't even remember what he looks like, actually. Does he have dreadlocks? Living in Denmark is shit. 
Ah. Well. At least the world's paying a little bit more attention to Denmark. Because, you know, Lucas Graham's from there. His songs are alright. Don't believe in Phoenix, right? Yeah. Anything else? Okay, we don't... Bad programming. So, Mum, what are you going to wear for your mother when she arrives? Something fucking fabulous. Contemplating on what to wear. I had many outfits, but I wasn't about to put on a fashion display for my mother. Well, you could always wear the white one your mother bought from France. Then there's also the red one from Spain. That one looks good on you. This bitch might have been, like, drunk as shit. She's slurring like a, like a maniac. Dude. Red or white. I feel like red is more intense and white is more chill, and chill is what's gonna get me with Sebastian, so we gonna go with white. Ooh, lovely choice, ma'am. Are you sure about the white one? Is this really this big of a decision that affects the future of the game? What fucking dress I wear? What the hell kind of game is this? Hold up a second. We're saving there just in case this leads me to my fucking doom. God, what a downer. You visited the- you wait, so it was shit. I didn't- I never liked tea to begin with, I don't know. Let's get you cleaned up, ma'am. Then we'll get this dress on you. Just a little more, ma'am. Your mother would kill us both if we don't do this right. Oh my god. Every Anybody who's seen Black Butler knows about the fucking corset scene. Okay, so we're in the age of corsets, yet this bitch is constantly wearing short sleeves. I don't know when we are. You know what, I have, a, I have an official decree to make. Um, contact lenses suck dicks. They do. I thought I'd wear them for my bike ride today over to the island, and you know, like, they suck a lot. It's terrible. They weren't expired or anything, I checked, but they still suck. Achievement unlocked. Lady in white. This game has achievements. It has achievements. Amazing. <sighs> I'm so glad I didn't actually pay my money for this game. Thanks to Project Eva. Uh, not recently, no. I really did not expect this dress to look this ugly. I... I... Nah, not really feeling this. You look so lovely, ma'am. I'm jealous. Wasn't sexy. <laughs> okay. Was sexy a word they used back in the age of corsets? I have no idea when we are. Uh oh. Who is that? I don't recognize the carriage. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh dear. It's Isaac. Oh shit. Kill him. He just shows up without even saying he's coming by. This is rude as shit. Even I, though, that's impolite. I've heard this game is pretty short. If it takes me under two hours, does that mean I can refund it? I mean, I'm not gonna, but 
Could I if I tried? <laughs> About the impossible quiz? I've heard of that. Suck shit, man. He's come to court you! Oh my, this is exciting! Stop. Wait, what? No. I accidentally skipped this. Creep into my gut, so I followed it all the way to the main lobby. <laughs> okay. First of all, that hat, that hair, that bow tie, stop all of this. Enough. <clears throat> Mr. Newport, may I introduce the current lady of the house, Miss Beaumont. What is it with Michaela and making up games where, like, you wouldn't put the character's first name, but the last name is one that's already preset, you know? Yeah, he sends a letter to Joseph the same day. Like, dude, why? As long as it's under two hours, even if you complete the game. I'm willing to bet that this game was was put up for sale before that rule was introduced. I had five bucks in my Steam wallet before this. I could refund this. Nobody could stop me. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Allow me to say you look absolutely stunning, Miss Beaumont. Oh, I've definitely heard this guy's voice before. Is there a Newport route? I have no fucking idea. <laughs> No Man's Sky can be refunded no matter what. Oh yeah, I've been here about that. Uh, no Man's Sky is gonna no man die. That was fucking awful. I have drank this root beer way too fast. Yes, Isaac Newport. It's a pleasure to finally meet you at last. I don't care about you at all. Give him your hand. Oh, look at that! Sebastian's jelly as shit! I've made him jealous! You're gonna judge the shit out of me? Look at this, this game isn't even finished. They have mouths, but only in the CGs. I don't want to live in this dimension where nobody has a face, though. That's kind of weird. <laughs> I mean, they have noses, but they don't have faces. <sighs> what was it? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, I have a theory. <laughs> See Sebastian staring at my hand intently. Maybe it's not that he's like into the main character maybe maybe he's into Newport what do you think this could surprise twist turn into a yaoi game out of nowhere <sighs> oh well I was in town and I was passing by your estate so I decided to come by and possibly meet you obviously it was a good choice I know this voice. It's been in. It's in Seduce Me. I swear to God, it is. <laughs> I don't know who it is, but for God's sake, they were in Seduce Me. Do this way. No one is attractive, but no one is ugly. I mean, they're all mannequins. Do they have genitals? Do they have nipples? Terrible. Oh, no, I, I wasn't insinuating anything of the sort. I, I merely wished to stop by and meet you, that's all. I'm sorry, I didn't read that. What? Oh. All right, great. Would you follow me to the drawing room, please? I'll prepare some tea and bring it as soon as it's ready. Thank you so much. Oh, dear. <laughs> 
He is super jealous. Newport X Butler. Yo. It's the same people in all Otomes. Yeah. What's that saying that there are only eight stories that exist? And each story is just a variation of one of those eight stories? I think we can say that there is, like, only one type of dating sim to exist. And every dating sim is just a variation on that one dating sim. Is something troubling you, my lady? I'm just surprised is all. Um, my lady, if I may speak my mind... Shit's about to get fucking real, kids. You look absolutely stunning in that dress. Oh shit, he wants the bee! Also, he's sitting way too close to the microphone. Back up, kid! Jesus. And get yourself a pop filter. And... What's that thing called? I don't know, it's some effect that you add in Premiere that gets rid of the static hiss. I've been using it all the time recently. It makes my audio sound fucking beautiful. Hello, Monica. That's something Shakespeare said. Are you serious? Uh, I've been sort of blanking on Harvest Moon. I gotta get that review done. I mean, I went past a bunch of farms today on the island. That kind of counts as research. Turn right in the face. You don't have a face! He's gonna ditch you the moment Newport leaves. He's like, I'm leaving. Gotta go be with Isaac. Whatever the fuck his name is. Oh no! Oh no! This is gonna be like one of those shitty romantic comedy scenarios. She's gonna be like, you have to marry that dude. Yes, my lady. Ugh, it's mom. Your mother has returned. Ah, fuck. We knew this. Don't want to see a live action adaptation of this ever. Oh, what the hell is this? First of all, sudden music change. Second of all, that hat. Third, those sleeves? Shoulders? Stop the presses. <sighs> ah, there you are. Punctual as expected. No mistakes, or loose flaps of cloth. Good. What? What? I... I'm running out of beer. <laughs> it's starting to get bitter. Now, can you explain to me why there's another carriage in the front? And where is he? I have no time for guests. I have much to do, and I won't have you entertaining guests without me. What was that weird dip at the end? I am not that bitch. I have way better hair. Get out of my face. I'm just... I'm too cool for that, you know? Escort him out. Yes, madam. Wow. Now, have you been keeping up with your studies? I hate this woman already. That is not Hat. We don't call him Hat Chan, he's just Hat. We know him too well to use honorifics. Jeez. Have you been practicing the piano? No. Perfecting your handwriting? Definitely not. Good. Then we can discuss. Oh, hello, Lady Beaumont. It is a pleasure to meet you. 
It is a pleasure to meet you too, Mr. Newport. I'm afraid we have some business to attend to, so we cannot entertain you today. Feel free to stop by tomorrow. What the shit is going on today? Yeah, this mom is a bit... Just punch it right in the face, Jesus. Always remember me. I think I... Is that on Steam? I might have come across that, because today I was like, you know what, I'm feeling kind of fancy, maybe I'll spend a couple bucks on a dating sim for the stream. And I came across this. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. I understand perfectly, ma'am. Please, have a good day. Okay, I'm gonna be real at all. Isaac's voice actor is the best one in, in the whole game. Chan isn't an honorific. Whatever. It's a fucking whatever the hell it's called. We don't use those on hat because we know them too well. And a good day to you too, Miss Beaumont. Mr. Newport, you say? He looked to be your age. Was he a suitor? It's none of your fucking business, bitch. Jesus Christ, hold on. Holy shit! Look at that! That's. Her waist is impossible! Im fucking possible! Not even a corset can do that. This is impossible. Okay, moving on. See a suitor. I feel like honesty is gonna get Sebastian to want to fuck me, but I don't know. There's no. There's probably no walkthroughs for this game because why the fuck would there be? This is actually the hardest decision we've had so far. Leave the tea, bring new cups. Should fucking be. Yeah. Yes, madame. How old are you now? Seventeen and still unmarried. What am I to do with you? Wait till she's legal? Sweet Jesus. <laughs> Anyways... I will be staying here for a couple of days to deal with some in-town business. I expect you to entertain Mr. Newport properly should he return. This goes for any suitor, understand? The dinner schedules will be upheld as I am here. If you are not at dinner during the scheduled time, you will not eat, understand? Oh, sweet fucking Jesus. Like, what, what kind of life is this? I understand why she's pissed off about being rich, because this fucking sucks. Good. Now, ma'am, you should be happy! Stop. Just stop. Get married to 30. I don't think I'm ever getting married. I don't think I'm ever getting another boyfriend. Shit's just gonna happen this way, man. You had to record it for a party once? It sounds awful. Of course, it suck. So, if it's 17 and still unmarried, are we talking, we've got candles in the background, are we talking, like, 1850s? Like, I don't, like, I don't fucking know. Back in the day, like, even when you were rich, it was boring as hell. Fine, entertain. Um, they'll, like, they'll do, I don't know, old things? What did people do in the 1800s? Wait, what? On the other hand, I still like Sebastian. 
because he was half demon, and that's pretty fucking cool. Or he's not half demon, he's a demon. But he's like, I guess we could call him a half demon because he's in a human form, I guess. I don't fucking know. Doesn't make any sense. You keep saying that, miss! If you keep looking at it like that, you'll never get oranges. Supposed to be Victorian times. People got married at a younger age. Yeah, that's true, but uh, fuck it. Victorian times were shit. Why do people keep romanticizing that era? <laughs> right, age 17 and died at 48. If you're rich, though, you can live a lot longer. What the fuck? What? Who the fuck is K? Is this just an elaborate way to tell me that they're neutral to this situation? I don't get it. Fuck, did Doug go to the opium store? Ooh, they did have opium back then. I guess that's all there was to do. Beautiful. I'm almost out of beer. A riddle? The glass slipper bit talks about Little Red Riding Hood, but the second part talks about chess again. Well, we're fucked. I know nothing about chess. This makes no sense. It applies to the whole game, really. Ooh, ooh, maybe it's a sign! Someone's telling you to, uh, um, well, uh... Sophie would be a great character if she had a different voice. It's married 18 and have babies at 19. Ugh. Fuck having children. We're not doing that. Ever. If you think you want to have kids, think about it really, really hard. And reconsider. If you still want to have kids... Think about it some more. <laughs> Unplanned pregnancies are a terrible force on the world. Just... Something in my gut was telling me that these messages were meant to tell me what to do. Were they about Isaac? Well, they said red, and we were in white. Why did the first one say? I don't even fucking remember. I get the feeling that if you wear white, you go for Sebastian, and if you wear red, you go for Isaac. But I don't know if that's even an option. I don't know how to fuck play chess, you fucking kidding me? It's stupid. Ugh. That sip always has a bad taste. It's terrible. Okay. Oh, were they about Sebastian? Ma'am, oh. shouldn't you? <laughs> Get out. You try sleeping in a fucking corset. In, out. Okay, ma'am. Have a good rest. Try sleeping in a fucking corset. You are going to, like, die of, of, like, suffocation. Get out. Wait, what? I can keep double clicking. This bitch is gonna choke in her sleep. You. You should get out of that corset. <laughs> Another letter! Oh, wait, what? Was he, was he peeping on me? Oh, dude. Pokemon Go is fucking stupid. You got a Trico and deleted accident. Tricos aren't in a game. You liar. You lying liar. Or are they? I thought Tricos were Gen 2. I don't fucking know. Yeah, you need a GF first. I know that fail. Is that still a meme? I don't remember. Sebastian, what are you doing? 
It was odd for him to be outside this late, let alone at all. He never really went outside unless someone needed to be escorted in. Well, that sounds painful. Why is he outside now? He's looking at the moon and he's like... He saw a shooting star and he wished to have genitals. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Trico is Gen 3. Okay, that's my bad. That's Gen 3. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, we're good. Trico cheat for Pokemon Go. Liar. You lying liar. Okay, what? Girl puts on the red hood. I don't understand. Yes. 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 We we're trying to fuck this guy. Like it wasn't it common back in the day for like people to get married to somebody for like family connections and more power, but to then have like people that you like fucked on the side. I'm pretty sure that was a thing. Oh my god. This background. <laughs> this background is... No. Out. Get out. Get out. I didn't pay a dollar for this. You have a Pokemon yellow cartridge? Mistress, yeah. What do you call it if it's like a dude, though? Is it a mister? Or is, do we just call it the same thing? Any sims? I don't play the sims. I played my sims once. It was terrible. My lady. Oh, that's right. <laughs> you can't say my name. <laughs> You make a better background of paint. I'm pretty sure that I could make a better background. I could I could d draw a better fountain than that. I'd need a reference, but I could still do it better. <laughs> Who drew this, actually? It, it was probably Michaela, to be quite honest. Yeah, Jesus. Fucking gross. How did he know it was me? He's psychic. Or he really is Sebastian from Black Butler, and he has his, like, demon vision, or... He's got really good hearing, I guess. I don't fucking know. I mean, like, Sebastian in the manga has better hearing than fucking Superman. I'm not even kidding. I know it's you. Come on out. Ooh, he sounds pissed. Also, that hiss at the end. Edit your shit better. I could do this. A female would have a lover. Gay. <laughs> Why are you carrying a lantern, man? What kind of fucking shit is this? The moon's not even full. Actually, is it just hidden behind the trees? I can't really tell. It it sort of goes in a gradient. It's very awkward. Here's some bad news. Bad news this week is gonna suck for me. Good news, week's only last seven days. And the week afterwards probably won't suck. Okay... I don't want to I don't want to be rude but why are you vague booking Just like speak clearly about your problems Wait, where'd the music go? How would you know it was me? I can recognize your perfume and powder, my lady. It was the smell. He's Definitely Sebastian from the manga. This is impossible. No. You're trying to fuck a demon. It's no use in sneaking. Okay, what do you want? Will you follow? What? Is this guy about to murder me? That's something you say to somebody you're about to kill. <laughs> Son 
I want to say you stink. Bravo. <laughs> Come with me. What? Is he going to turn out to be actually a demon? What? What? He's a yandere. Oh, shit. Somewhere away from the mansion. What the fuck is going on? What are we going to do away from the house? They gonna fuck. I... Okay. There are seasons. Bro. What, what kind of surgery are we talking here? Like invasive or like non-invasive? Like are you getting a wisdom tooth removed or like they're taking out your spleen or something? Like... It's okay. It's okay. Just chill with it. You can handle the needles. Just don't look at them. You just... Like, they, they put the needle in you. You look away. And it won't be as scary. You... Un okay? Just chill with that. It'll be fine. You're gonna play some Story of Seasons. You you got Trio of Towns, you may. You gotta tell me, is it any good? David noticed you were gone. Um, yeah, you told me you were leaving. Okay, what is. Oh, wait, no. That's just a photo. That's definitely just a photo. That's- that's just a photo. That's just a photo of a forest. That's just a photo of a forest. That's not even a drawing. That's a picture. Wait, what? In the middle of the woods. Perfect place to commit murder. <laughs> Where are we? Oh my god. Are we doing this? Somewhere where I can finally show you my true feelings. Oh my god. And back away from the mic, man. Or at least it's the denoiser tool. Get the denoiser tool. Fix your shit. A forest slender man. Forest. No face. Fits. No, but really, what was that shit about the letters then? How did they know this shit was gonna happen? Generic forest.jpg. Yeah. I, I want to reverse image search that. <laughs> this is what happens to the people Slenderman kidnaps. What, he disguises himself as the handsome man and, like, convinces them to go out to the woods? Which anime you plan to watch? I don't plan to watch any anime. They just sort of fall in, into my face, you know? He brings him to the Slender Dimension where everyone is a mannequin. What's happening? Um, the suitor showed up the mom showed up and she was a bitch and then we snuck outside to see what this guy was doing and apparently he had this grand plan or some shit. I don't fucking know what his deal is. Whoa, okay, slow down. Wait, they were holding hands before marriage? Sluts. Son of Man is in fact the Tiabu and kidnaps people in order to live in this Victorian fetish. Yeah, isn't he German? I thought that was Fanon. I'm sorry. I can't hold in these feelings anymore. I'm not fit to be your butler. Actually, let's be real. With the British accent, the dude voicing this guy sounds a shitload like Sebastian's English dub voice actor. Like, almost fucking exact. That's one for the fandom. He's even got similar hair. Come on. For the fandom. Holding hands. <laughs> Censor that shit out, loud. <laughs> what if he's What kind of what kind of joke is this like leading up to? My feelings are that I fucking hate you. <laughs> Are you still alive, Sheepy? Very good. 
Where have you been? That one is the right image. <laughs> All right. You have a wait. What? You have to get a kidney stone destroyed. Is it too big to like pass then? That 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 sucks, man. And that's pretty gross. You gonna be awake for that? That sounds like a knockout situation, or is or is that just like general anesthetic, whatever the fuck that is. A specific location. I wish you the best of luck with that. I wouldn't know what that's like. Because I don't think I've ever had surgery before. But I'm sure you'll be fine. There's nothing to worry about. They've been practicing this shit for years. You'll be fine. How did my, how did my channel explode like this? Um... Yandere Simulator? It kind of helped out a lot. Ew. Oh, it's 95% chance it'll get sucked. That's fucking nasty. Oh. It's okay. They'll figure this shit out. You'll be fine. You'll be okay. Then you won't have to worry about kidney stones or nasty things for probably a while. You'll be okay. Uh, that's bad. Oh yeah, we should probably, like, get back to the game. Just stick a needle in your vein to knock you out. That is a technique I've not heard of. You probably won't even feel it. Like, you'll get knocked out, you probably won't even remember it. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be... You'll be cool. Bonus, free drugs. Well, probably not free. Because you probably live in the US. But at the same time, drugs, in general. Pretty decent. I hear those are hard to come by. I wouldn't know. The story of Hansel and Gretel wouldn't be the last time Germans push people into ovens. Oh, that's dark. New Avatar series? I've not watched either Avatar series. Why are they making a third one? Seems kind of silly. Your mother plans to arrange a marriage between you and Mr. Newport tomorrow when he visits. I overheard her on the phone with his father after you left the drawing room. Wait, they have phones. They have phones. Hold up. Okay. Ooh, okay, so we're past 1876 at least. So, 1890s maybe? I don't fucking know. Probably the same era as Black Butler, given the voices. <laughs> Look, man, I, I didn't get Nickelodeon as a kid. Like, Nickelodeon is not a Canadian channel, so we didn't get it with my cable package. So no, I never watched Avatar The Last Airbender. You're hiding in the cops in the woods near 7-Eleven for the Wi-Fi? 7-Elevens have free Wi-Fi? I wouldn't know. I haven't seen a 7-Eleven in literally years. You're that nervous about the needles, man. By the time it's over, you won't even remember the needles. It'll be cool. I don't mean to, like, downplay your fears, but... To, you need to face them? And just remember? That these guys are professionals? And they're probably definitely not gonna fuck this up, because they've been doing it for years. Like, we've had literally hundreds of years of practice at sticking needles into people, and people have gotten really good at it. Like, people have gotten so good at it, people do it on their own all the time, like for insulin and shit. You'll be okay. You'll be fine. I promise. You'll make it out. 7-Eleven was a part-time job. <laughs> No, we didn't get Cartoon Network. Only recently Cartoon Network has come to Canada, but it's subscription only. Fuckers. Ugh. It's fine. I wasn't gonna pay for it anyway. Watch new episodes of, car of like, 
Steven Universe on on Kiss Cartoon. That's what I use. It's that picture. Let's embrace pain and burn it as a fuel for our journey. Fantastic. What a bitch! My lady. No. My love. Oh shit! You are a beautiful young woman. You deserve to have a husband. You deserve to be loved. Back up from the mic. Get a pop filter for fuck's sake. Even I have a pop filter. Even I have a pop filter. <sighs> it cost me like ten bucks, man. Twin avatars. Oh shit, like like two at once and like maybe they have to like maybe they have to like compete to like who's gonna be the next real avatar. Barnacles is a curse word in SpongeBob, and how do you explain Barnacle Boy's name? <laughs> He's a fuck boy. Oh that's perfect. Thank you for sharing that. There's gonna be a needle in your vein. I understand. It's it's scary. It's scary. But think about it this way. Heroin addicts stick needles into their veins all the time. And if it weren't for the heroin, most of them would have survived that. So, you know. You got a better chance because it's a doctor. I don't know where I was going with this explanation. I'm just saying you'll probably be fine. I wish you the best of luck with this. I'm terrible at comforting people. <laughs> okay. Is this like the end of the game? I thought by now my feelings for you would have waned. But apparently not. Back away from the mic, man! Come on! This is bad. This is so bad. It's like he recorded all of his dialogue and then sent it in and it was too late to change it. Whatever. <sighs> I don't want you to be with him. But I can't ask you to betray your mother. Not after all the times I've denied your romantic orders. Wow. So he admits that he was a dick. My motivational speech sucks. I know, I'm sorry. I watch way too many horror movies to be scared of blood. Don't don't watch any horror movies leading up to this. Just just trust me on that. You'll be thinking of bad shit. Speaking of, Don't Breathe just came out and I don't want to go see it. So you're probably not going to get that spoiling everything unless I really get up the energy to see it on cheap night. I'm sorry. It's just it looks fucking terrifying. <laughs> Legit. Maybe we can pull this off. Ooh, the music changed. This could be good. He was a fake tsundere, of course. He just wanted to be one hell of a butler. Bravo to me. I'm the best. Except in giving motivational speeches. Why waste your attention on me, though? Because you're hot? Like, what do, you, what do you fucking want me to say? That's, that's basically it. It's just because he saw it. That's because he gets paid to. You know that, right? This is... I know this might be inappropriate to say, but this is kind of like a guy falling in love with a stripper. Just a little bit, isn't it? <sighs> or like a cashier at a store. She's only being nice to you because she has to be nice to you, right? The poster of Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees attacking each other above your head, above your bed. Wait, you liked Freddy vs. Jason? I heard it wasn't that good. Of course, I was like eight when it came out, so I didn't go to see it. But, to be honest... Do you ship it? 
You have a dream catcher? It's okay, that'll keep him away. <laughs> <sighs> yes, I am a cancer. I am a cancer creator. Yeah. Okay, anyway. I'm a cynic. Fine, whatever. Uh, excuse me while I cry for a thousand years, because I'll never get a boyfriend. I'll have to wait until I'm super famous, and then just, like, get a stalker, and then date him. <laughs> But if the stalker's a girl, then no. Restraining order. <laughs> I know, I'm so sexist like that. I guess I was always in love with him. Like, you were trying to fuck him for like years, weren't you? Eight year old PML wasn't watching horror movies. Uh, no. Eleven year old me might have been. Like, my friend invited me over to her house and she put on fucking, like, what was it, Candyman 3? That movie, looking back on it, was terrible, but it still scared the shit out of me because I was just a little kid. Like that, like the motherfucker with the bees. Like, come on, dude, you can't. This dating sim doesn't move faster. I'm sorry, you guys are distracting me. <laughs> Alright, fine. We'll, we'll, we'll speed through the rest of this. I want to make it under the two hour mark in case I want to refund this. My silly lady. Stop calling me that. I'm not silly. I'm fucking fabulous. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, first of all, whoever's doing the CG is clearly a different artist than the dude doing the sprites. Or it might not be, and maybe they're just really bad at doing poses. <laughs> Second of all, the fucking man hands on this chick. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. I'm gonna refund. It's not a dollar. It's a dollar and nine cents. I think it's worth it. It wasn't my money, though. That got paid for by a My Secret Pets trading card. <laughs> You'll be my yandere boyfriend. Are you even a guy? <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> 2010 Nightmare on Elm Street remake. I almost wanted to go see that, but like, I don't know, I was like, how old was I at the time? I was like 15. I could have gotten into the movie either way, but I didn't. Run away with me. Oh, I knew he was gonna say that. I was like, how are they gonna do that? And like, then he's like, run away with me? Yeah. I played Freddy in the remake, sounds drunk as fuck. I thought he kinda looked like a lion a little bit, didn't he? Like, just the way the makeup looked, he kinda looked like a fucked up lion. I don't know. <sighs> I mean, let's be real, I haven't watched the series myself, but I've watched like the Angry Video Game Nerd review them, and I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it was him that reviewed them. It's like James Rolfe, whatever. Um, hmm. Didn't Freddy get really fucking silly as the series went on? <laughs> I don't know why, but that face just cracks me the fuck up. Okay, so you are a guy, Jess. Very good, then. You have fun with your guyness. I believe you. <laughs> Hold on, I need to look at that picture again. <laughs> this is too accurate. <laughs> MC is pissed off because you never live like a peasant. Breaks up with Sebastian, marries a new port, and Sebastian kills himself. PML's best YouTuber. No, I'm not. I'm starting to get lightheaded a little bit. <laughs> Fuck. Run away with me. I'm no longer fit to be a butler now, so I cannot return to that mansion. However, I want to be with you forever. This is this is moving a bit fast. But then again, I am getting set to marry a guy, so you know, might not be coming fast enough, actually. 
be with me. I can't give you a mansion or riches, but I promise to give you love for the rest of my days. He's not a bad voice actor, but he needs to either get a pop filter or step the fuck back from the microphone. Your profile pic is male. I don't know. I mean, Mystery Man has a profile pic that's a girl and he's a guy, so what the fuck do you want from me? It could have been the reverse with you. You could have been, like, the anti-mystery man. I don't know what the fuck we doing. <laughs> I love how you misspelled sadistic twice. Very nice. Well done. <laughs> yes, sadistic. You got it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm having way too much fun with this. Oh my god. Whew. This game has been fucking hilarious. I might actually- I might not refund it now. It's pretty funny. <laughs> CDs make you uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, come on. Do not end it on that line. You could be a girl. No, you're not. I sing your live streams. You don't sound like a girl. <laughs> you put your lotion away. Jesus Christ. Ending. The girl marries her prince. Checkmate. Is there an ending where you find out who the fuck was sending that letters? You know who was sending the letters? Michaela. She's the one who was doing that. You have autocorrect, but you still misspelled sadistic? I don't get where you're going with this. Ooh, achievement unlocked. Checkmate. I wonder if this game has trading cards. That would be funny. Hmm. Let's see what happens if we wear the red dress. As long as you're sure, ma'am. Let's get you cleaned up, ma'am. Then we'll get this dress on you. I want to see if we could date Newport. Let's let's figure this shit out. <laughs> what the fuck? Isn't that that guy from DMC? Or Devil May Cry, not DMC. Okay, yes, we've been through this. Yes, Just we've... a little more, man. Your mother would kill us both if we don't do this right. Okay. Ooh, Achievement Unlocked, Lady in Red. I like this one better, actually. You look so pretty, ma'am. Men would fall to their knees for you. Hold up, let me see how it looks. Why did this need a corset? Whatever. Uh-oh. Who is that? I don't recognize the carriage. Whatever. Ah, uh, man, could it be the Newport son who sent you that letter? <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's come to court you? Oh my, this is exciting. It's like the alternate universe, one where we've, like, fucked the guy. I don't know. I mean, in this one we get to stay rich, so, you know. <sighs> Still not a fan of that hat, though, not gonna lie. <clears throat> <laughs> it comes to my attention that, like, back in the day, wearing appropriate fashion was just about everything in upper-class society. And I guess it was, like, sort of that way in everyday life in, like, the 50s. And I'm just, like, thinking, I have no idea how to fucking dress myself. <laughs> that's, that's all, that's all that thought was, you know. Sebastian keeps being your butler, I guess, and he never admits his feelings for me, and it's own, it's his own fucking fault. Because he turned me down too many times. Piece of shit. Mr. Newport, may I introduce the current lady of the house, Miss Beaumont. What if he's not an option, though? What if you marry him, but you're not happy with it?
It's okay, he'll get over it. I assume. It's three... It's three thirty in the fucking morning where you are? What are you doing? What are you doing? Someone made a gay version of Harvest Moon Friends of Mineral Town by switching the sprites of the girl character with the male one? So, how does the pregnancy work? Because Mpreg was one of my least favorite things in fanfiction. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have the link to that one. Like, I saved it. But, like, I don't really care. Whatever. Y'all have fun with that. <sighs> like, somebody told me about it. Like, I don't really care. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, wow. That's all we gotta say about this. Yes, Isaac Newport. It's a pleasure to finally meet you at last. I kind of like this guy a little bit better because he can actually, like, step back from the microphone for a moment. Give him your hand. Oh, well, I was in town and I was passing by your estate, so I decided to come by and possibly meet you. Obviously, it was a good choice. This guy's actually a voice actor. I like that. I was just clothing, but also etiquette in the mannerisms. Yeah, I have no etiquette or any, like, manners <laughs> at all. Your face went Newport route? What are you talking about? <laughs> okay. He looks so lame, yeah, whatever. 1880 sucks. Yeah. Yeah, it does. No video games. They had cricket. I know that. That was they ha they actually had like a full on cricket arc in Black Butler. That was confusing as shit. I didn't like it. <laughs> Almost as bad as like the the witch arc in Germany. That one I didn't like. Cause you know. That girl they met up with was no fun. And then that shit with the miasma turning out to be mustard gas. Like what the fuck was that? Oh no, I, I wasn't insinuating anything of the sort. I, I merely wished to stop by and meet you, that's all. Would you follow me to the drawing room, please? I'll prepare some tea and bring it as soon as it's ready. Thank you so much. In a period of time, you practice shooting and sword fighting. Actually, that's what rich people did, I guess. Hunting was very in style back then, so you'd fit right in. Well, I assume I play crappy fan made Harvest Moon games. Those exist? People made fan made games for that? Earth Moon should introduce same sex. Yeah, like. Uh, same sex marriage should be a thing in Harvest Moon games. But then again, to a point, like. It's cool when they do it in games like Stardew Valley, where, like, no matter what gender you are, you can, like, marry, like, either a bachelor or a bachelorette. But sometimes you gotta think logistically and be like, yeah, that's cool, but. What if they're straight? You know, like... You know, like, how, like, some people... Like, let's let's think about it in, like, Mass Effect games. Like, some characters are, like, bisexual. You can date them whether you're a guy or a girl. But sometimes they're straight. Sometimes they're gay. Like... It, it makes it a little bit more realistic for just, like, certain characters to be gay, you know? I don't know where I'm going with this, but, like... I know why they don't allow same-sex marriage, but I'm just saying realism also. Is something troubling you, my lady? Oh shit, he doesn't say I look lovely! The white dress was the correct choice then for the original, yes. Mostly out of convenience, you prefer the player to marry the character they like. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yes, my lady. It's for kids, and that would make it weird. Yeah, it would. 
But it's for everyone. You have three guy friends. Wow, you have three more friends than me? Jelly. <laughs> you don't live no you don't live anywhere you don't live near any of them. That sucks dicks. Your mother has returned. But I mean I'm not gonna say that, that's incredibly inappropriate. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna just skip the mom. Skip. Fuck this. I don't care. And yes, ma'am. No. I don't give a fuck. Oh, hello, Lady Beaumont. It is a pleasure to meet you. Yeah. It's not though, because she's a bitch. It is a pleasure to meet you too, Mr. Newport. I'm afraid we have some business to attend to, so we cannot entertain you today. Feel free to stop by tomorrow. Mm, yes, I do remember that. See, here's the story behind that. That guy was like, Dumbball Master, whatever. Um, truth is, I'm pretty sure he's changed his YouTube name and deleted all of his videos, so I don't know what he's doing now. But, um, yeah. Thing was... Like, he started subscribing to me and he was like, yo... Can you tell me how you make reviews and stuff and, like, what mic you use and stuff? And I told him, gave him, like, a short, like, how-to, I guess. And then he made a Harvest Moon review exactly like mine. And I did call him out on it. I'm like, dude, it's cool you're doing this, but try to be original. Just, just try. I understand perfectly, ma'am. Please, have a good day. The person in school you like hasn't noticed me. Oh, y'all are teenagers and shit. You've got so much potential. My name is actually Donald. They started calling me Snuffy after the police found my video collection. The closest I ever got to escaping the friend zone was when I was friends with this guy, sort of, but, like, everybody thought we were dating, and they were talking about it, and then I would just asked him out, and then, like, yeah, we dated for four years, and now I'm alone. Because I broke up with him. Oddly enough, it was because I was actually more mature than him. I know it sounds impossible to believe, but it, that's how it happened. You cringe by that story, yeah. And a good day to you too, Miss Beaumont. Lady Beaumont and Miss Beaumont. I look she looks nothing like her. Oh. Okay, I don't care. Yes. I I don't no, I don't care. I don't know. Uh, oh, maybe it's a sign. Someone's telling you to, uh, um, well, uh. She sounds exactly like Mei Rin, doesn't she? Like the English dub voice actress, and she has similar colored hair, so. She just needs the big ass glasses. Legit. Be a secret sniper. Try to make conversation. It's so awkward. I'm so sorry, man. I can't help you. I don't know how to talk to people. That's why I have no friends. I'm just here. Playing this game. I want to live in Japan. Visiting is not enough. Well, I've heard that, like, living in Japan can get very tiring because of similar architecture. It just depends on where you live, I guess. Like, you know, I've just heard that. That's all. Like, apparently, like, daytime TV is boring and shit. The grass is always greener, man. Just... Just say that, like, visiting it is, like, enough for now. Just chill on that. You have, you, you got to visit Japan. That's pretty fucking cool. She would hold your hand at least. Oh my god, you slut. That's against the law. Ma'am, shouldn't you... Until I started to set me up with their son. 
Ew, what the fuck? He's 13 years older than you? What the fuck? That's disgusting. Why would she set you up with her son if he's that much older than you? What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, Mom. Have a good rest. Yes, it's Sebastian. He's outside. I don't fucking... I don't care. No. We're gonna try to marry Newport. Is this a bad ending? But Isaac is so charming! It's half past 4 a.m. Go to bed, you may! Jesus Christ! <sighs> like, I'm not. Like, you. Are you nocturnal? Is this what you do? But you chose your route, makes no sense. Yeah, the red dress, I don't get it either. Are there only two endings? Come on, he's charming as fuck, and at least he knows how to back away from the microphone when he's saying his lines. They're too bland to sell. Ending. The lady locks herself in her tower. Queen takes bishop. Fuck. Is that... You're 21 and he's 34, like... That's, like, two different worlds. You're dealing with, like, college. He's dealing with mortgage payments. No. <laughs> CG for the bad ending. Yeah, like... Isaac was charming as fuck. I'm sure, like... Let's face it. Sebastian was sort of like a weird crush. Probably because this chick didn't have much interaction with other guys. I think... I think S Isaac could have worked out, you know? Like, she'd like eventually come to see that like dating that guy could work out and she could be happy with somebody who wasn't Sebastian? What a terrible ending. Is that it, then? Because I don't think there's anything else we can do. I just played through both routes and it's only an hour and a half. Okay, I guess. Achievement unlocked. Queen takes bishop. Hold on. Hold on half a second. Let me go up to my library. How many achievements does this game have? View all achievements. Uh-huh. Okay. What? These are weird. These must be for other endings, but I don't really understand where they would lead. Forfeit. The girl unties her ribbon from her neck. The girl chooses the prince and the pauper. Stalemate. The girl gets trapped in the glass cage. Knight takes bishop. I don't know what the fuck that means. I don't want to fuck around looking for extra endings in this game. Are you kidding me? Your face went shitty bad ending. Let me see this. <laughs> ah, legit. This is terrible. That's awful. Don't go. Okay. Oh, but, but death wants me to leave. His last girlfriend was 23. That's creepy. Okay, that's creepy.
Ugh, that's weird. It kind of reminds me, if you'll indulge me in a quick story from my youth. Motherfucker, you know! He knew I was live streaming. He, he was fucking talking to me before this shit happened. He knows! <sighs> fucking, I don't... I should probably go. <laughs> okay, now that reminds me of when I was a kid. And I... I was in grade 8. I was in grade 7. And there was this guy in grade 8 named Justin. Who was a total dick wheel. And he kept, like, asking me out. Even though I know he didn't mean it. Because he was trying to bully me. And he pissed me off all year. And then eventually he left, and I never ever saw him ever again. Ever. And if I saw him today, I probably wouldn't recognize him. And I'm just saying, fuck that guy. Justin, if you're out there, fuck you. I hate you. <sighs> hmm. I don't know, like, is there anything I can do? Okay, what is this? I'll get back to her in a minute. <laughs> Yeah, he's your oldest guy friend. Yeah, that is a shame. That story sucked? Yeah, it did suck because I was in a very fragile time in my life and this guy fucking ruined my fucking day. A bunch of times. You don't understand. No Man's Sky. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, that's, that's the refunds. They're losing. I think I should get the hell out of here. I've got a lot of business to deal with. See, apparently advanced emergency pay at the prison means that you gotta pay him back eventually, so I owe them, like, about a thousand bucks. So, I have to borrow a check from my mom because I don't fucking have checks. <sighs> so don't bring this up in the comments of his videos. Of course not. I don't comment on his videos. That'd be weird. I, I have to leave. You know what? You know what? I'm I'm technically not working. Don't tell my parents that. They think I've still got like a week of work left. I, I, I left a few days early because I desperately wanted a week off before I go back to school. And yeah. Hmm. I will come. Look, you may. Don't you start telling me not to go because I. You need to go to fucking bed, okay? <laughs> alright, alright, no, I'm sorry, guys. Like, this has been a fun party. I'm glad you all showed up for it. I'm, I'm glad to have you all here. You know I love you guys. But I need to leave. Y'all need to go to bed. And, yeah. So, it is here that I will say thank you all for tuning in. I might be back tomorrow. And peace.